It's me again. Fancy a beer. Every day I fancy a beer, but fancy a beer. Um, and I realise, of course, I do have a few of um, Beanham Homebrews uh, beers that he sent me, uh, and most of those I'm leaving for a while. Um, I'm going to enjoy them more towards winter time. Feels a bit like winter now. Um, but there was one that stood out when I was looking through them, um, and he's put here, if you can see that, caution, open outside, she's lively. <laughs> so, hmm, that could uh, explode one day in the bottle, so I better drink it now. What an excuse. So I've got here, Beanham Homebrews, Baltic Border. Yeah, so, he did say open it outside, it's lively, um, I don't know if he means lively or lively, <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it on the sink, I'll put you there. Right, so. Let some air out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm not even gonna. Um, I should have opened it outside. <laughs> Hopefully there's some left. Here it goes. <laughs> Some little gush action for ya. see it can you it's like oh look at that that is just seeping seeping away <laughs> that has to win gush competition of the year i reckon if i open that side that could have gone that would have made an entertaining video sorry about that pussied out that one uh so i'm gonna pull much never mind say la vie uh, I tell you what though the aroma oh smells so chocolatey it's a really great aroma it's just chocolate porter best way of describing that aroma really but it's oh I can tell this is gonna be a good one mm hmm I'm not sure why it was a gusher he knew it was a gusher um, it's, like it said in the bottle, it's lively. Not sure what happened there. Uh, what percentage we got? 7.2. So, um, it's about average for a Mick beer. <laughs> it's actually quite low for a Mick beer. <laughs> okay, so, aroma's great. The head, you know, it's a porter head looks lovely and kind of uh, light brown tanny whatever color you want to call that uh, there is a little bit bit of floaty bits in there but that ah, never mind cheers you know what I don't know what a Baltic 
poor is, to be honest. It's delicious. Really nice. Mmm. That is absolutely quality. I'm gonna Google now what a Baltic porter is, but it's a good beer and it tastes like chocolate and I can taste coffee. Say I'm gonna Google, I'm not gonna Google, I'm using the Bible. I just ran up the stairs and down again. So Baltic porter. I'm assuming that you got the recipe from here. Um, if he did, <laughs> we got Munich, Amber, Cara for Special 3, Biscuit, Chocolate, Cara Munich 1, uh, Sars Hops. Oktoberfest Lager Blend, I'd love to know if you used that. It's pretty weird. For the yeast. Uh, so we got a strong warming beer with complex fruit flavours and a smooth clean finish. As the name suggests, this porter originates from countries bordering the Baltic Sea. Mm. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so what's the difference? I don't know. It's got lager yeast maybe. I don't know, it's fucking nice. Mm, I have no idea, but I like it. I really like it. And yeah, it does have a bit of fruitiness. Um, it's weird. I'm going to say this is one of the best porters I've tasted. <laughs> Seriously, Mick, your porters are fantastic. Just keep on brewing porters. I think, I think that's the direction I'm going to end up in I know I've been brewing for a year and a bit and you know we're all experimenting with different styles and I've discovered the best beer that I can make are porters um, and it's kind of like why bother making the others when they don't taste all that great and I can buy better from the shop um, but porters homebrew porters you, you can't beat them you can't beat them and commercial ports are bloody expensive. So, you know, I'm gonna have probably another year of <laughs> experimenting with various different styles, but eventually I'm gonna get to a stage where I'm only gonna brew porters and stouts, I reckon. Because pale ales are a pain in the butt because my water is shit. And porters originate from London, so, you know. Right, I'm going to stop rambling, talking absolute shite, so <laughs> go and subscribe to Mick's channel. Shut up, cat. And go and watch his latest video. Boom.